During the colonial period, many immigrants came to America from Europe in the search of religious freedom and also recreational freedom. Also, many religious groups from uh, Europe came to America that were opposed to recreational freedom, such as the Puritans and the Quakers. Puritans, such as this man right here, um, were op uh, often opposed to uh, sports such as football, stool ball, bowling, dancing, boxing, throwing darts, wrestling, running, and even cockfighting. And um, the immigrants that came here in search of re recreational freedom um, had opposing views. Immigrants immigrating to colonial America were both Puritan and non-Puritan. Puritan like this guy, non-Puritan like myself. Now the Puritans here felt the same as they did in Europe, and all leisure time should be spent worshiping God, and they believed that idle hands were the devil's playground. Now with this mindset, people needed a place to escape from all this, and so taverns became extremely popular. Taverns were just a place where you could get a little drink, you could see your friends, and they arranged competitions such as darts, boxing, cop fighting, horse fighting, horse racing, and turkey shoots. As taverns began to increase in popularity, the influence of Puritans started to slowly decline. As this was happening, we also started to see an increase in gambling, which also took place within taverns and also in the community. Gambling is known as um, winning money without toll and also spending one's well-earned money, which is not uh, the way the Puritans saw it. As the newer generation of Puritans began to question the teachings of the church, the Puritan ideals began to subside in colonial America, and Puritans slowly began transitioning from their Puritan beliefs to the dark side of gambling, beer drinking, and sport playing. 